of the most iconic voices in golf are back to save the day and ready to entertain in their newly weekly video podcast. Costas and McCord off their rocker. Mike Abram with you on another great episode of Costas and McCord off their rockers. Today, Peter and Gary are going to give you their thoughts and choices for the 2023 PGA Championship coming up this weekend from Oak Hill Golf Club in Rochester, New York. Um, they'll also tell some of their favorite stories from PGA Championships that they've worked in the past. And of course, Coach Costas will be with us with a great tip to help your game from his Foresight Sports Sim in a Box, our technology sponsor, Foresight Sports. And of course, don't forget our presenting sponsor, Swing You. Go to the Swing You app, check it out. The best GPS app there is, but also some incredible tools to help you improve your game, including strokes gain, some great coaching, green reading. Go to Swing You in the App Store and check it out. Remember, like, subscribe, share, and Hit that notification bell. Do it right now so you never miss an episode that's upcoming. We'll have some great ones for you. We've got some great ones planned. And in fact, we have an upcoming episode where Peter participated in a great tournament with Lewis Black, the comedian, uh, for the benefit of the Love You Project. It was at Dove Mountain outside of Tucson. We have some great comedians and actors. We play golf. They sat at a round table and discussed what brought them to the game, what they loved about it. They told some hilarious stories. You won't want to miss that in the upcoming episode. But without further ado, let's get you to the guys at Whisper Rock Golf Club, sitting in the cart and talking about the PGA Championship from Oak Hill on Costas and McCord, off their rockers. All right, Garrett, we got 20th anniversary, I believe, of Sean McKeel's victory at Oak Hill in the PGA Championship, which we did. Is that 20 years ago? 2003 <laughs> so i mean it's oh god time flies when you're having fun it, it was one of it was one of the the most epic final shots into a 72nd hole in major championship history how about the reaction the reaction was a <laughs> ah you get a seminar like that to win the tournament ah that was great it's brilliant that's a tough golf course i remember i think Around 1980, Nicholas won there in the PGA. Yep. I think he was the only guy to shoot under par. Yeah. And then I did the 1995 Ryder Cup there at Oak Hill, um, and that's, that's I'm walking I, I'm walking with Seve, and Seve is playing. I think he was playing Tom Lehman. I'm, I'm not sure who he was playing from the American side, but Seve Seve had had a six gun with one bullet in it. Okay. That's, that, I mean, he had nothing. nothing. Okay, and and he was hitting it everywhere. The rough was this long, yeah. and he was he he hit one green as I remember on the front nine and was even or, or one or one under, <laughs> seven. And, and tied in the matches. It was, it was the most unbelievable job of scoring that I've ever seen out of somebody just fighting in the match play. So, but this year I think it's going to be different because they've they've redone the golf course, uh, taken a bunch of trees out, try to go back to the original Donald Ross design. Um, you know, it's it's going to be, uh, I think it's going to be a ball strikers golf course. What do you think? That sounds like John Rahm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it, I find these majors this year to be really compelling um, because the golf courses are spectacular, all of them, right? We got LA North coming up for the, uh, yeah, that'll be uh, fun. For the uh, U.S. Open. We got Oak Hill for the PGA, uh, Royal Liverpool. I mean, it's they're epic golf courses, uh, but the storyline really is whether you like it or not. It's it's them versus us. It's yep. it's and it's, it's not the, the Ryder Cup. It, and it's not the Ryder Cup. It's it's the live players <clears throat> that are in there. There's 18 of them in there this yep. year. Um, there's actually it's, it's kind of a funny side story. There's there's more club pros in the field than live tour players in the field. Interesting dynamic. <laughs> you got 20 club pros and 18 live players. Um, <laughs> But everybody's going to be looking for, in my opinion, for two things. Can John Rahm or Rory McIlroy or any of the studs on the PGA Tour compete and have a chance to win on Sunday? And will anybody from the Live Tour compete and have a chance to win on Sunday? That, that's Whether you like it or not, that's going to be the storyline this week. Yeah, it's going to be the storyline for a while. Um, as, you know, with Phil. Okay, <laughs> Phil's was 106 when he won the PGA at, at Kiowa. And now all of a sudden he can't, you know, 
he's coming in last every week on on live tour and then all of a sudden he gets he gets in the major and uh, he starts playing well. Where, where the hell did that come from? Well, you know, he's he, he's worked out. Yeah. He's, he's got himself got in shape. Better. He's back to college weight. All of those things, I think, are enormously important to his productivity, right? And and I think that he is motivated. I mean, you know, Phil, when, when, when we used to play games against Phil, we played up at Desert Mountain. Mm -hmm. And we would play for whatever, t $10 Nassau's. And he didn't give a crap. And we no, beat him no. every time. Yeah. Right, and as soon as we got up to a hundred dollars, we got our ass kicked, right? Because if it's not important to him, he's not he, he doesn't care. He doesn't want to and so it. he has been pushed into a corner by people, by the media, by the powers to be on the PGA Tour, the DP World Tour, everybody. And now he's coming back fighting. He, he's he's like he's like some animal that's been caught in a corner is going to fight out. And I think he's taking it personally, and I think he's going to do his best to compete to show that he can still do it. Well, and, and he showed at Augusta um, how he can compete with, you know, th there was no background of playing good for nope. a couple of years. Nope. Nothing. And then somehow he just festered up a golf game. And uh, what did he come in? Second? <laughs> third? I so it's, just, it's really impossible. I, I look for him to play well this yeah. week. Uh, there, there's other players from Liv, uh, Dustin Johnson, Brooks Kepka, Paul Casey's a good ball striker. Full disclosure, he's my student, but okay. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be a ball striker's golf course, but really past the PGA, I can't wait to see what happens with Phil Mickelson and Mike Wan at the U.S. At Open the US <laughs> at L.A. North. That is going to be epic. Uh, the storylines. TMZ is going to be there, folks. Yeah. I can tell, yeah. you, tell you that right now. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, 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 who's your pick? That's there. <sighs> I never get any of these right. Um, Give, give, gonna, give me, give me, gonna, give me three players. Okay, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take from this club, from Whisper Rock. I am going to take Max Homa. Okay. Well, we got another. I forgot the best player in the world right now is yeah. is from here, and also Silverleaf, John Rahm. Okay, and if I got three picks, I'm gonna take Sh Scotty Scheffler because uh, the greens, are, it's gonna be the greens are difficult. They're rolling. They're going to be quick, and he hits the ball straight up in the air. I just like guys that play long irons way up in the air on, on majors. So those would be my three. That's not hard to pick. They're all in the top five. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm not going out on a limb here. No, no. Um, you got any outsiders? Well, and why? I, I'm, going to go, I'm going to go with Brooks Kepka. Okay. Just because. He seems to, like Phil, he plays better when he has a, a chip on his shoulder. Yep. And he's got a freaking log on his shoulder right now. <laughs> I mean, he is, he, he is one angry dude. Um, so I think Brooks is going to play well. Uh, I don't like Rory. In, in, yeah, he's in, in this, he's, at he's, all. He's, he's, his gears aren't, aren't, they're not melding together very well right now. I think, I, I think just me, he is trying to serve a lot of different um, factions. Yeah. He's trying to serve his golf game, which is a little bit of a mess. And he's trying to, you know, he and Tiger are the one that redirected the tour. So he's dealing a lot with all the different tours and trying mm -hmm. to <clears throat> trying to get all these systems into some kind of efficient order. And that's pretty hard for a guy that's trying to make a living playing golf, yeah. not making any excuses, but it shows in his golf game. Well, it's no, but it's, 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 not it's, going it's, it's the reason why we, when we get on an airplane and, they, and, the, and the, the flight attendants give this safety briefing and they say, in, in the event of decompression, uh, air masks will come down and you put yours on first before you help somebody else, right? Because if you don't, you're going to pass out and not be able to help anybody. And calmly and, do that, and, by and, the way. And I don't care about calm at all at that point. But, <laughs> exactly. um, but it, it, Rory has mm -hmm. to take care of Rory. He has to get back to being selfish. He has to get back to being all about Rory's golf game mm -hmm. and, then, and then let his golf game do the talking, keep his mouth shut, and just pay attention to himself. Mm -hmm. If he does that, he can clearly win any week, right? But I haven't seen him do that yet. So, in a while. So, no. So, so that's, that's a little bit of a problem. Uh, John Rahm, you got to like John Rahm. Uh, ball striking machine. And, you know. So you got, you've got, you're taking Rahm. Yeah. You get Brooks. Brooks. Rory. You got Brooks. So let's get somebody out of the top ten. Who would you like? You know, um, just out of nowhere, just 
grab it out of nowhere. I, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my with my student. I'm gonna go with Paul Casey. Paul Casey. And I'm gonna go there only because you do that all the time. He, no. No, yeah, you do. No. We used to have those things at CBS, and you'd pick players and everything. You'd always take Paul Casey. We all knew that. Every time you take Paul but Casey. But if I didn't have any confidence in him, who would? Yeah, then you tell him, you know, that, yeah, he took you the thing, so you got to play good. It made me look good. I get so, it. No, no, I get it. I think, I it. you know, he uh, he finished, what, he finished second at uh, in San Francisco mm -hmm. and and uh, played well at Kiowa, injured last year, couldn't. Couldn't yep. play. Yep. Uh, so that's Back where he, that's kind of where he got his exemption for this year. Was uh, I think they honored the exemption they gave him, or he earned last year. Um, so yeah, that's I'm cool. going to go. I'm going ball strikers. I'm going Rom. I'm going Kepka, and I'm going Casey. I, th I think it's a ball strikers golf course. I don't think you can chip and putt your way around that golf course right now and 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 win it. I mean, I'd, I'd like to see it. We're going to see it soon enough. But uh, yeah. I'd, I'd like to see what they did. I don't remember much about it 20 years ago. As you know, I, I am not the tallest person in the world. Mm. You keep reminding me of that. No, vertically challenged. And, yeah. and when I walked that golf course for the Ryder Cup yeah. and for the PGA, you know, I felt like instead of being 5'8", I was 4'8", because the rough was like that. <laughs> All right? I don't know if in the springtime yeah. they can get the yeah. rough like yeah. that. That's good so point. I think the golf course is going to play Little entirely wet. different. Uh, probably a little softer. I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen. Well, remember the... when they when they first did this rescheduling the PGA Championship, and it was in the springtime. We're all going. Wait a minute! It could be snowing yeah. up there in in, yeah. in Upper State New York. So so th this this will be interesting to see the growth of the grass, the growth of the rough. If it is long, it's going to be smart. So yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a, a challenge. And you know what? I'm going to tune in for the chaos. You love the chaos. I, I, I love chaos. Yeah. Live against the tour. Here we go again. Chapter two. All right, folks, that's our thoughts on the PGA Championship. You tune in. You know what? Contact us. Give us your picks. Let us know who you think. Pick three pick, picks. Pick three picks. Three picks. We'll see We'll see who does better than, or it may not be too difficult to do better than Gary and I, but you know what? Hit the subscribe button. Stay in touch. Watch the PGA Championship. Watch the chaos and see if you can pick the winner. Don't go away when we come back on Costas and McCord off their rockers. Coach Costas is going to give you a great drill from the Sim in a Box, the Foresight Sports great simulator in his man cave. Gary and Peter will tell you their best stories, some of their best funniest stories from PGA Championships in the past. So stay tuned for more Costas and McCord off their rockers. Costas and McCord off their rockers is presented by Swing U. Check out the incredible Swing U app give you great GPS course data from T to green and including green reading. And you know, even simple strokes gain features can help you improve your game. So go out and check on the app store or at swingu.com. It's a great app. It'll shave strokes off your game. Visit our website at costasmccord.com. Like and subscribe at our YouTube channel and on any social media, Costas and McCord off their rockers. Now it's time for Coach Costas. Peter gives us some great tips to help our games. The golf swing is comprised of three different planes. Now, when the club head is behind the golf ball, it goes back away from the golf ball and then goes forward through the golf ball. We call that lateral. Now, it also comes up off the ground, up into the air someplace, back down into the ground if the, if the ball's on the ground, and then back up in the air. We call that vertical. And then the club head comes at some point off the target line, around the body someplace, back on the target line, back around again. We call that rotary. And, and you have to have a, a golf swing that it's going to go back and up and around. Has to. Now, the big thing is getting the right part of your body to create the right part of the shape. For example, most of the vertical or a lot of the vertical, comes from the hands. I can cock my wrist and get the club head five feet in the air. So a lot of the vertical comes from the hands. A lot of the lateral comes from the arms. The arms will go back wide. You hear players talk about good extension away from the golf ball all the time. So that's the, that's the lateral action coming from the, from the arms. 
So most of the lateral and vertical comes from the hands and the arms. Where does the rotary come from? Well, the rotary comes from the body. So what will happen is now, if I put this bar across my shoulders, as I rotate back and through, that's going to send my arms around my body. As I come through, it'll be in front of my body. And as I rotate forward, they'll be around my body again. So it's really a three-lever system in the golf swing. First lever, from your sternum to your left shoulder. You want to learn to crank that around your body as much as you can. You want to get it to go as fast and as forward as you can in the forward swing. That's lever one. Now, in order to be able to do that, a lot of other things have to happen, like use your core, use your hips, use your thighs, knees, feet, etc. But lever one is the rotation of the body. Lever two is the swinging of the arms. And you want to feel like their arms are, are free from the shoulder sockets. And lever three, that's the hinging of the wrists. So we now have to combine the three of them. You have to get a feeling of hinging the wrist, swinging the arms, and turning the body. And when you coordinate those things together, you're going to have a reasonably conforming golf swing shape. It'll go back around and up over your right shoulder, come back down in front of you, around and up over your left shoulder. A lot of you don't turn, so you lose the rotary. So what do you do? You fake it by swinging your arms around to feel like you got the around part. A lot of you don't have a lot of hand action. So instead of the hands creating the verticalness, you straighten up and swing the arms up to get the verticalness. So when you look at your golf swing, try to determine, do I need more hand action? Do I need more arm swing? Do I need more body rotation? What shape of my swing is lacking? But when you put them all together, you'll find that the hinging of the hands, the swinging of the arms, and the turning of the body have to be blended together like gears on a car. And when you can get that blended perfectly, you're going to have a really solid consistent golf swing. Stick around, Peter and Gary will be right back with more Costas and McCord off their rockers. Strokes gain stats are finally easy with the most five-star rated golf app in the country. Swing U accurately and objectively provides feedback across driving, approach shots, chipping and pitching, bunker play, and putting. Easily identify your strengths and weaknesses and laser focus your practice time so you can quickly shave strokes off your score. Download Swing U and start owning your game today. Visit our website at costasmacore.com, like and subscribe at our YouTube channel, and on any social media, Costas and McCord, off their rockers. Well, if you folks remember, we had a contest to see who would win six days in St. Andrews, Scotland, enjoying golf, Gary. Yeah. Hotel included, the whole deal. Really? We had 80,000 people. Send, what? Send, send in? Yeah, 80,000. 80,000? 80, yep. Really? And, and the winner is Jesse Thompson. She gets to go, I say she, she gets to go with a guest. I'm presuming she's taking her husband, but I'm not going to make any assumptions. Better take your husband, Jesse. You're going to have a great time. I love St. Andrews. As good as the golf is, as good as the hotels are, the village is epic. I mean, it, it eats, sleeps, and breathes golf. It's, you wouldn't know that. You haven't been there, have you? I've been there, yes. I what? actually did a video. Did you really? Of how to play St. Andrews. Oh, sure. You can get it on VHS. Yeah. Jesse, <laughs> don't look for that video. Just go and enjoy That's yourself. <laughs> so congrats to you and your husband. You're going to Scotland. 80,000 people signed up. We appreciate your support. Look forward to the next event we can give away. Now, let's find out what's in Gary McCord's bag right here on Costas and McCord, off their rockers. Well, you know, I've had some comments that, uh, well, what's in your bag? That's a good question. What is in my bag? First of all, you can see on the outside, this is cool. Um, I'm a member of Whisper Rock, very nice bag tag, and they spelled my name wrong. Gary, it's got two R's. 
you're only supposed to have one. So I got that going for me. Um, and then, like, what's in the bag? This ought to be interesting. I really don't know. Ah, this is the, <clears throat> this is my uh, range finder, okay? Uh, I've lost three of them. This is lost and found. You can see it's worn like I am. Um, so that's in there. Uh, oh, my hat. Hat. This is, I, I love this hat. Makes me feel like Spalding. Anyway, it's, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guessed it. It's reversible. Then we've got, oh, this is, uh, this is what you need when you're elderly like myself. You've got, this is the greatest thing in the world. This is, <laughs> I just feel so good. And I just, I don't hit balls. I just sit here and do this and it's just, Wonderful. Anyway, that's that. What else we got in here? Oh, sleeves. And we got sleeves for your arms. Wear those because you're going to get skin cancer. This is a this is a thing that goes around your neck. Yeah, you put it in a, a gaiter. I think they call it a gaiter. And it goes around your neck when it's cold. And it gets, it's 98 right now, but that helps. Not this time of the year, but it helps. Um, that's all I got in that one. This one is, this is my, this is full of more sleeves. More, in more sleeves. <laughs> that's a check I got from about a year ago. I didn't know it was in there. Ha! Huh. All right. Make sure the wife doesn't see that. That's good. Um, let's see what else we got in here. See, there's all sorts of surprises. Um, golf balls, plenty of golf. Oh, more sleeves, more sleeves. Golf balls, they got a lot of golf balls. I don't know how many. Most of them are free, uh, tailor-made golf balls. And so that's that. And this is my pocket where I've got the little, what we call incidentals. And the incidentals are my watch, or golf balls that shouldn't be there. Oh. To mark your ball where it's going. Chapstick because it's dry here in the desert. Uh, you do that. That and by the way, if you wanna, if you wanna hit a drive, and you don't want a lot of spin on it, it means the ball will go pretty straight and go farther. Da, da, da. Don't let your buddy see it because it's just a little illegal. But that'll spice up the drives. That's always handy for that. There's another one, just in case you lose that one. Um, this is sunscreen. You put that on, put it all over you. I'm old, so whatever I get today is gonna to manifest itself on my skin. Probably when I'm 93, so I don't even use that anymore. Um, oh, ball marker. Got from a, looks like a Navy pilot. Excellent here. That's a good ball marker. More grease for your driver. And then we got a bunch of coins and stuff that we got. So that's that's all there. And then this this is this is the side which is secret. Ah, chalk line for putting. <laughs> and you do that. So that's that's the <laughs> prescription pills. That's that's in case you hurt something out there and that that vibrating thing doesn't help that'll get you lit up right there anyway that's always good um just in case you want to change the loft of your driver when you're on the golf course that's in there oh more sleeves um chalk for the chalk line and i really don't know country club of the rockies edwards con that's i don't know where i got that um Oh, it's shoelaces, just in case there's an emergency. Just in case you play in the Amazon, here's some uh, off. Carrie, what the hell are you doing? Uh, when, when, when they ask what's in your bag, they don't literally mean what's in the pockets of your bag. They mean what clubs are you using? <laughs> I forgot I had that. What was that remind you of? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good old days. 
Uh, yeah, that's so they want to know the clubs. They don't care that you got oh, drugs, drugs and chalk lines. They're <laughs> all free. <laughs> They're all bless. free. All of them. All of them. Look, look at Odyssey Putter. That's free. And I've been on the staff of TaylorMade for a hundred years, so I get it all free. And I stole this alignment stick from a buddy of mine because it's made out of wood. So that's it. What's in your bag? You never know what Gary might say or do, and we'll have more of it coming up on Costas and McCord Off Their Rockers. Thanks so much for your comments and requests. We're going to break down some swings. We're going to do some playing lessons for you. And very soon, Peter is going to tell you what's in his bag. It's not anywhere near the same as what's in Gary's. So don't go away. Costas and McCord Off Their Rockers. We'll be right back. Strokes Gain stats are finally easy with the most five-star rated golf app in the country. Swing You accurately and objectively provides feedback across driving, approach shots, chipping and pitching, bunker play, and putting. Easily identify your strengths and weaknesses and laser focus your practice time so you can quickly shave strokes off your score. Download Swing You and start owning your game today. Visit our website at costasmccord.com, like and subscribe at our YouTube channel, and on any social media, Costas and McCord, Off Their Rockers. And now, on Costas and McCord, Off Their Rockers, our favorite time is story time with Peter and Gary. Gary, I don't know how many PGAs we've done. It's, oh. it's over 60. Easily. Right? Easily. So... We've told a few stories. We told a Faraday story at Valhalla, um, but absent that, what PGA Championship do you most remember? And not necessarily for the golf, but just for something. Yeah, something. Um, I I think I think it was in New York. Uh, uh, oh, I know what you're going for. W w Wingfoot. Dave, 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 Davis, Davis, Love. Davis Love, 1997. He won with that beautiful rainbow. Good memory. Looking yeah. up, looking up at his, at, you know, his father who, <laughs> who, who died. What, what happened? And so, it, it, this was epic because they called play for the day. Yes. On Sunday. Yes. They they said that's it. And so, you know, we all get out of. Well, I get out of my wet clothes. You were in the. I'm in the freaking tower. tower. But anyway. Got a shade and so we go back to the hotel. Yeah. And we just we just laying around and we're 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 planning on making airline reservations for Monday because that's they, yep. they said they were suspending play. And all of a sudden, our phones ring, and they go, you got 10 minutes, we're on the air. Get back to the, get back to the golf course. We go, yeah, right. No, 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 we're, they, they, the PGA changed their mind. Play is starting again. In 10 minutes, we're on the air. Get out to the golf and course. And there's no announcers. No, no, there's nobody None. there. We're all and gone. So, and so now I'm dressed for dinner because we're going to go down, downstairs in the hotel and have dinner. And and we don't have time to change in our golf clothes. Nothing. So off we go, and we go to the we go to the golf course. We bat out of hell. We drive to the golf course. You run to the tower. I go to the, get my pack to go on the golf course. And I, I remember, <laughs> this, I had a brand new pair. Cole Hahn's not going to like this, but whatever. <laughs> I had a brand new pair of Cole Hahn loafers. Okay. That's what I was wearing to dinner. Okay. Right? I mean they were brand freaking new. <laughs> And I don't, I don't have a chance. So you, got the, you got all the clothes. So I'm, I am, I, I got my, I'm going to dinner. Nice stuff. Nice stuff on. Okay. And, 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 and I got a brand new pair of loafers. And I got my battery pack on. And I'm walking. And it is wet. I mean, it is slopping. Yeah. Sucking wet. Yeah. It's just miserable out there. By the third hole, the leather, the, the, the sewing on the leather sole right. is coming off and my toe is flopping <laughs> on a brand new you pair of shoes. Clown shoes and, I, and I'm walking I'm walking like an idiot out there. People are looking at me, what are you dressed like that for? That's a long story. And then we we do that. I mean I don't even I don't remember much about the about the whole thing except the escapade of getting back to the golf course, Davis yeah. winning, the rainbow, and, and it it really ended up being an epic story. You know, because of his dad, who was a PGA pro, right, right, worked with right. us in the Golf Digest schools, was a dear friend, uh, killed in a plane crash, and so, you know, it was it was a tearjerker from that perspective. Um, I remember, <laughs> I remember, I was taking a shower because we were going somewhere to dinner. Yeah. So I'm taking a shower, getting ready to go, and and I hear the door 
bam, 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 bam on the door. And you just like, get out of the shower and, you know, put whatever on and go, who in the hell's knocking on the door? And I open it, it's, it's the clerk from downstairs. She goes, CBS has been trying to get a hold of you for about five minutes. They need you out right now to the <laughs> golf course. The round is starting again. I go, no, the round, I'm arguing with the guy at the front desk yeah. of the hotel. The round's not starting again. They called it, they called it uh, for the day. No, no, no. They said, oh, so I called, called the office up. She goes, or, or Billy. Uh, it was a Billy, yeah. Billy Burns. Burns. Billy yeah. Burns. Billy, she, wait, we've been calling you. You've got to get out of here. Why? The golf tournament started. I said, no, it's canceled. No, it's not. So we all ran out. And did they get one hole in with no announcers? Or did I, I, we get there? I don't remember. I, I we might. All, all I know is I was I was running out of the hotel waiting for you to get dressed. We jump in the car and head all out ass. there. And that would have been our best show if none of the announcers showed. Probably. Up. Yeah. <laughs> like it would have been. So that's the PGA Championship of 1997. Wow. Wow. Long time ago. <gasps> 25 years. 26 yeah, 26. years. 26. Who's counting now? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I'd get scared. <laughs> Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss an episode when it comes out. On our next episode, we'll be with Peter Costas, Lewis Black, Larry Wilmore, and Maury Povich playing a little golf and a number of other comedians and actors sharing why they love the game and some of their best stories about golf right here on Costas and McCord, Off Their Rockers. Thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you again real soon.